Hi YouTube. I just wanted to um do a quick um commentary, I guess, on the arrest of Shannon Brown, um Monica's ex-husband. Um you know this um I read that um he shot at two people that entered his home that was um listed for sale. They're saying that a for sale sign was out in his yard. And I guess the people just assume. I do that sometimes too. If I see some 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 for sale or sub, I'll check to see if it's an open house or when the open house is. I just go and go to looking. That'll stop me now. Cause he pulled his shotgun. <laughs> he pulled his shotgun out on him. And I think he must have shot at him once or twice or something like that. But um, I think it's nothing. I think that's normal for people to live in their houses while they are listed for sale, or maybe um, where I'm from, the small town, maybe foreclosure. I've heard of people still living in the house until the bank, I don't know, sells it or something like that. I'm not for sure. Comment down below and stray me on that because I'm not for sure how it, the real estate laws are. But yeah, whoever was trying to see, look at the house or whatever, he shot at him. Um, maybe he was asleep with someone when they rung the doorbell, or maybe they just automatically assumed that there was no one there because they this for sale. So that's why you can't assume nothing. Um, <laughs> like I said, I've done that, and I do. I, but this is my lesson too. I, I go to houses and ooh, especially if they're nice. Sometimes I just go to looking just to be looking. Um, I live in a house, and I would still go, you know, to the nicer neighborhoods. And uh, one community before they put the gate up, they was building uh, real nice houses, starting at five hundred thousand. And I was just going there and go to looking. And one day I saw a cop. They had a cop out there. You know why they was building construction or whatever? Just a lot of millionaires will call it um, visualizing. Um, I got that from, you know, Dan Pina, Dan Locke. Um, I listen to them a lot. Les Brown, listen to a lot of motivational speakers. And the thing when they started out too was you have to feel the experience before it comes to fruition, it comes true. Um, just that this is my reason why I go, you know, looking at houses that I can't afford right now or that I, you know, uh, desire to live in one day or whatever. Not saying that the people, not saying that this was their thing because they probably can go buy the house or whatever. It is. Just my reasoning for going and just looking in houses and, um, that are for sale though, empty houses that are for sale in these partic this particular community, it's in Palm Beach and they're building the houses. They're so nice. And so sometimes I go over there without permission and just look at, not the people, there's some that people live in, it's, it's, it's not that many people living over there, probably like four or five families, but there are a lot of, that they're building up, they still building houses. They're still, you know, there's like a community, a, the community is still being developed or built up. And sometimes me and my kids, we ride through and we take it upon ourselves. Or I take it upon myself because their kids, they just follow my lead. And I just go and look like, so I know Shannon, I know, you know, I know both sides, you know, to this story. And I've been on the, the people's side too, but um, a According or or in reference to the stand your ground laws or whatever, I don't think he should have been charged or especially with aggravated assault. I think they charged him with for shooting at him. Um, I know they must have been scared. I can I can only imagine, you know. Like I said, I can only. Like, this is an eye opener for me. So I I mean. They probably just scared each other, and he panicked and went to shoot, to be honest. But I, I think it should have been further investigated, like the the, the the man and his son that shot the black guy. guy.